Hey there. Today we have something really interesting to discuss, the good behavior game and applied behavior analysis. Before we dive into the good behavior game, let's quickly cover the basics. According to Cooper et al. at 2019, applied behavior analysis is a science devoted to the understanding and improvement of human behavior. Commonly used to help individuals with autism and other developmental disabilities, its principles can be applied to various settings to promote positive behavior. The Good Behavior Game, also known as GBG, is a powerful evidence-based intervention used in ABA. It was initially developed in 1969, designed by University of Kansas researchers Harriet Barish, Muriel Sanders, and Montrose Wolf, and has since gained widespread recognition for its evidence in promoting positive behavior in classrooms and other group settings. The goal of the Good Behavior Game is to help teachers manage classrooms without having to respond on an individual basis each time a student disrupts the class. It's a fun and engaging way to teach self-regulation and cooperation while reinforcing appropriate behavior. So how does it work? Well, the Good Behavior Game involves dividing the class into teams, creating simple roles, and arranging contingencies for breaking or following these rules. For example, types of negative behaviors that are scored while they appear throughout the game are leaving one seat, talking out, or engaging in disruptive behavior. These rules are clearly described to the students before the game starts. Reinforcers are chosen that will effectively motivate the students to take part in the game. According to Cooper et al. in 2019, a reinforcer is a stimulus change that increases the future frequency of behavior that immediately precedes it. An example of a daily reward can be extra free time or recess or earning classroom money or the classroom store. When choosing rewards, instructors are advised to consider using reinforcers that fit naturally to the context and mission of the classroom. Once the behavior has been selected and clearly defined by the instructor, the next step is to introduce the game to the class. The instructor will mention to the class that they will be playing the game and present a schedule to clarify and set forth the instructional timing during which the game will be in effect. Let the game begin. During the time the game is in effect in the classroom, the teacher continues to carry out the usual routine lesson plan. The only alternative in the routine is that the instructor is also noting and openly recording any negative points earned by either teams. Scores can be posted on the whiteboard or on a large piece of paper visible to everyone in the room. Teachers can also choose to publicly announce when other points has been earned as a reminder to the class about accepting behavior. When a student or team breaks a rule, the teacher states the rule and which team was in violation. For example, team A needs to raise a hand to talk and make a mark on the dry erase board. The team with the fewer points wins the game. There are several benefits to using the good behavior game. Firstly, it fosters a positive and supportive classroom environment, promoting teamwork among students. Secondly, it reduces disruptive behavior, allowing for a more focused and productive learning experience. The Good Behavior Game teaches important life skills such as self-regulation, time management, and problem solving. It also instills a series of responsibilities as participants are encouraged to take an active role in managing their behavior. Now, if you're interested in implementing the Good Behavior Game, keep in mind a few key points. First, be consistent with the rules and expectations. Second, ensure that the game is appropriate and tailored to the specific needs of your participants. Establish motivating reinforcers. Lastly, maintain a positive and encouraging atmosphere throughout the game. Remember, the Good Behavior Game is not one size fits all approach, and it may require adjustments based on the unique dynamics of your group. And there you have it. The Good Behavior Game and Applied Behavior Analysis is an effective and enjoyable method to promote positive behavior, teamwork, and self-regulation among participants. If you have any experience with the Good Behavior Game or any other ABA techniques, share them with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.